This is a video on our organic cashews at Frog Valley Tropical Fruit Farm. And it's one of those crops that for us is a natural for Florida because at this location, we don't have to water and the trees, this tree took 31 degrees. It is extremely drought tolerant. I think there's a limit though. You can't have healthy drought tolerance without soil health. So if you don't have a built up microbial population, cashews might have a time producing fruit. So they'll survive, but you gotta you know take care of your soil as trying to intercrop uh, cashews in between all of our dry farm mangoes. But um, we got 31 degrees and uh, all the little seedlings got fried, but they're coming back even in this drought. And since that was the first freeze we ever had in 10 years in this area, hopefully I'll be okay. We'll be okay. But this didn't freeze didn't seem to affect them once they get a certain size. Cashew, the fruit, the fruit forms up here and it's like a bell shaped on this tree, it's yellow. It could be yellow or red. And you just cut it off and you juice it. I juice it in a like a, a orange juicer, a, a hand orange juicer. And I really couldn't believe how delicious it was. And everyone who's ever had it, that I turned them on to it, they love it also. So I see there's seedlings coming up underneath here. They send down a huge taproot. They don't do really good in pots. I have a friend that started some in pots and they outgrew the pots real quick, like before six months. And this continuously flowers during the warm months, flowers and fruit. So this tree has been in the ground for five years. It's never been watered. And I just thought I'd uh, share my love of the cashew fruit tree with y'all. Have a good day. It's Frog Valley Tropical Fruit Farm.